Welcome back guitar dudes and dudettes. Today we finally have the Matthias Asato guitar study video. We're looking at the song The Bridge from his YouTube channel. Very beautiful song and as I was trying to figure this one out I realized that the song is actually played uh, a step up right on the guitar. It's actually played a step up. Matthias is such an angelic guitar player that he needs even more brightness and positivity and light in the music. So you have to actually tune up the guitar so it sounds even, you know, just so much brighter, right? I've never tuned my guitar that way. So that's, that's something new. Just a little disclaimer before we start. I by no means have a 100% accurate uh, rendition of what it is he is playing because the only person that can do that is Matthias himself. Really amazing player. I have merely tried to do my best to emulate it, learn for myself, you know, what it is he's doing, try to demystify and grow myself as a guitar player. And now I'm bringing what I've learned to you so that you may hopefully can take away from this video whatever it is uh, you want that will help you in your own guitar playing. So with that being said, let's start this uh, guitar study. Don't forget to check the description for the tuning of the song and the timestamps to the tabs and structure of this video. So we're starting off with exercise one. On the tabs you're going to see plenty of uh, hammer-ons, pull-offs and slides so keep those in mind. <laughs> So we're starting on the A string with our pinky on the 11th fret, our index finger on the 7 on the D, our middle finger on the 9 on the G, and then open note B. And from there the sequence is you're playing the 11 and then the rest of the notes after each other. From there we move to the low E open string low E, hammer on 2 and 4, and then we play the two open notes high B and E string. From there we go to the A, slide into 6, play 4 also on the A string, so that's sliding to 6 from the A string, and then 4 on the A string. So far what we have now you can either, you know, finger pick both of those notes or pull off. So it all depends on you and how you want to interpret the song. From there we move on to a little chord, which is once we do the slide on the A, go to the 4, we basically bar the whole 4th fret and place our fingers in the right position for the chord. Index finger on the 4th fret and then we have our uh, <clears throat> ring finger on the 6 on the D, barring the 4 on the G and with our middle finger on the 5th uh, note on the B. So, and then you have that little slap mute which is just hammering down on the strings. So everything is ringing out and you go with your, I usually do my hand like this and I hit it with this side of my fingers. Right, so that's that, that's very easy, just hammer it down. From there, we're doing the following. That will be sliding from four to five on the low E. We have 9 on the B, 9 on the E, slide to 7, using my pinky and my ring finger. From here we're grabbing the, se the 7 on the A string and sliding to 2. From there we are picking open note E, hammer on 2, pull off, open note 4 with your pinky or with your ring finger. And then again, that's four on the B string, then again, open string e, e. Next exercise, which is exercise two, what are we playing? Right. 
right, so we're starting off with the open note A, open note E, and then four on the B, four on the G. Then we move on to playing a chord, which we're starting with barring on the seven, seven on the low E, seven on the D, and then with our middle finger on the eight G string, and then seven on the B. And from there we're hammering on seven to nine on the B string, so we're playing that together. See, so with my ring finger I'm hammering on on the nine. Then we have the uh, guitar slap, mute. Moving on with barring the first, uh, the last three nine uh, frets. So nine on fret nine, fretting with your index finger. And then with, with, with our thumb, we're reaching over to play the nine at the low E. So it would be something like this. Now Mateus does it this way with his thumb and I suggest you try it too if you never tried this before. Try to expand your horizons. You could easily just bar it. But really just try to expand your technique. You know, incorporate that thumb work in there. I sure never used to do it ever, uh, ever. And now I did and I really think it's a cool technique to incorporate into your own repertoire of skills. So that's all three. Now we're moving on to the little tough cookie. That will be hammer on 11, 12 on the high E. Then we have a bend from 11 on the G. Pull off to 9. Hammer on 11 on the D. Then we're going to slide into 13 on the A. So that's... 13, bounce back to the 11 on the D. We're skipping the G string, going to the B string. Hammer on pull off 11, 12. And by the way, I'm barring with my index finger on the 11th fret. So again, that has to do with what's the best finger positions on the fretboard to be able to play the notes that follow. So we were sliding with our ring finger on the 13. Mm -hmm bar that makes it all easy so that's after hammer on pull off 11 12 11 we go to 11 on the G then we go back to 13 it's going to be a 13 slide 11 pull off 9 and then pull off open note on the A then we have the cool little run that's on the B string, pull off 12 to 9. And then on the G string, 12, slide to 11, pull off 9. Then we have 11 on the D. Then we move on to 7 on the low E. Open note, high E, 8 on the G. And then open note on the B. that would be uh, exercise two. Now we're moving on to exercise three. Okay, so ex exercise three, we're kind of starting off the same way we did in the intro, except halfway it changes again to something else. Okay, it's ever changing, this, this tune. Exercise three, <clears throat> starting off on the open E string, playing the same chord from the intro, 11, seven, nine, open note, and starting on the A, ending on the B string. So we're playing with our thumb, picking open note, and then again with our thumb, starting on the A, playing them right after each other. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Move on to the low E, open note, hammer on two, four, and then B, E, high strings, open. Slide to six on the D, go to four on the A, back to the D6. Then we're moving with our middle finger onto five on the high B. Pull off, a hammer on pull off seven, back to five, four on the G with our 
index finger, open note, A string, then we're moving on to B and E, 9, slide to 7, go immediately to 2 instead of sliding from 7 to 2 like we did into the intro, intro just go immediately to 2, hammer on pull off, open note, high E, so that's high E open note, uh, hammer on pull off 2 and then back open note. That's four on the B, open note on the E. You bounce with this finger over to the low uh, low E2, keeping our pinky on the four on the B string, then adding our ring finger to the four on top on the G string. Playing the two, open notes high E, four, four. From there, we're moving our middle finger to the four, and then moving our index finger over to the high E for a hammer on. That's zero, two, hammer on to two. Then we have the slap. And here we're sliding seven and playing open note A string. It doesn't really matter where you're sliding from as long as you are sliding it quickly. And that will be exercise three. Exercise four is a little bit of a short one since I couldn't cram it into exercise three, but it's a very cool one, very interesting. So we are beginning with essentially this part. How it goes is. So we're starting off with the slide. Pull off six, pull off five, pull off four, slide to two, and then pull off open note. Then we hammer on back to the two. As you can see, I'm switching from my uh, index finger to my middle finger to do the hammer on because my index finger is now going to the two at the A string. Open note high E. Hammer on pull off, open note two, open note. Pinky on the four on the B string, open note E. So that's that part. Part four, extremely interesting. One very interesting legato move that is all very quick. Okay, so you have to pick up some speed there. Now we're moving on to exercise five, getting into some grooves here now. Okay, so that's open note on the D, then we have 7 on the G, 7 on the B, and then 6 on the G, 5 on the B. So that's 0, double on the 7, 6, 5, back 0 on D. 14, 14, 0, 13, 12. Here, we're changing our fingering, 11, 10. Instead of using our index, we're switching to our middle and ring finger. The reason for that is, again, moving on to the next easiest, efficient, logical finger uh, positions for the next notes that we have to play. Here's what I mean. So I played these two together. Now I can easily slide my ring finger to 12 back to 11. And then bar the nine. If I were using these two fingers, it wouldn't really, it would be uncomfortable. This gives me easier reach for the nine. So that's slide to 12, slide back to, back to 11. And then 9 on the G, 9 on the D, 9 on the A string. From there we're moving on with to 6 on the D, 9 on the G, played together. And we're sliding the 6 to a 7. Then we're playing 9 single on the D. 
and then 9 on the D and 9 on the G. So it's... From here we have to do a hammer-on pull-off once we play these two nines. Hammer-on 11 with our ring finger from the D string. Pull off to 10, pull off back to 9. You have to be careful not to mute the 9 on the G string as you're doing the hammer ons pull offs, since you can clip the string underneath. You're actually, you know, hammering, doing hammer ons and pull offs on top of the string while the one lower has to keep on ringing. Then we have 12 on the A string. Then we move with our pinky on the 12 to 9 on the A string, 9-0. Again, this has to do with the next, the easiest finger position to get to the next notes we want to play. So check it out. 0-9, pull off 7, slide to 4, see this finger still free, play 2 on the D string, 0 on the B string, open note then, then we go to 2 on the G string, hammer on pull off 4, slide to 1, and then 2 on the D string. And that would be exercise 5. So it takes getting used to these finger positions, at least for me it was, if you never... This is my first time ever playing finger style, you know, so it's all brand new to me and, well, honestly very exciting. So I hope that you can learn from it too, just as I have. And then we have the last exercise for this video. Here is where we're adding even more groove. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so we're starting off with the same, kind of repeating what we just did, but with added spice and variation all throughout. So we're starting on the D string, open note, then we have this, the hammer. Okay, so, it's easy to vocalize it, at least for me, so don't mind me when I do that in the video. So that's... Uh, open note, 7-7, seven, seven, G, B, string, slap, go to 6-5, and then immediately after, play open note again on the D. Let me do it slowly. So once we go back to the open note, we play 7-7, seven, 6-5, seven, slap, Move to 14, open note D. Again, the same process, switching up the fingers. 11, 10. Slide from 11, 12, 11. This time, pulling off to 9. We have these fingers free to go on to the B and E string. 12, 12, and then slide to 9, 9 slap i mean hammer slap the guitar we're moving on to then this chord basically so once you do that get your fingers into the position of nine on the a seven on the d nine on the g so after the slap you get your fingers into position you play the nine alone and then 7 9 together and then you're only sliding the finger that is on the D string which is the index finger to 9 okay make sure you're muting the rest obviously that they're not ringing and then play 9 on the D and 9 on the G together same process of the hammer-ons 11 10 9 12 Normally I don't even finger pick that, I just hammer on to it. Then we have uh, open note E with 9 played together. Mm -hmm. 
So that's play together, open note 9, slide from 9 to 7, finger pick 7 again, go to 6, sliding, and then slide again, hammer on pull off 6, 4, then go to the A string, 7, pull off 5. Again, I don't really finger pick this much, it's very random every time I play it again, depends on the feel as I'm playing it. Right, then we have the last bit. We're moving on on the D string, starting off on two, hammer on four, six, then two on the G, open note high E, and then open note E and A. And by the way, those uh, two notes, two last open notes, aren't actually part of the song. That's just me resolving it kind of abruptly for the purposes of making a, a snippet guitar study video of the bridge. And that would be ending the whole thing, basically. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope it was helpful. I hope that you got to take something from this video that you can use for yourself, either to just jam to the song, learn the song, or actually get into the finger style technique that Mateus uses, uh, or just getting into finger style technique altogether, which for me is the first time I've ever gotten into finger style technique. So this has all been a very new, exciting learning process for me, and I've gained a new passion for a different technique in playing guitar. So I want to thank um, the person who suggested uh, Matthias Asato guitar study. I was extremely uh, intimidated to approach it. You know, I've always listened to his work on YouTube, but I was always so intimidated to even try to demystify it. And now I feel like I've dipped my toes into the water and I just want to, you know, jump, dive in. So really thank you a lot for pushing me to uh, to that limit. And now I'm, I've grown even more as a guitar player. And I hope that you have grown too. And I'll see you all again on another uh, guitar study video.